drill. There's some kind of monster here. Man, why doesn't he just eat the damn Striders first? I need some help. You gotta get me out of here before he... Oh, no. No. What's up, everyone? It's FNHUSA57 here. We're back on the Evolve Open Beta, and uh, this is the last day the beta is open. So I just got the third star unlocked for all of the support characters, Hank's weapons or equipment. And uh, I just want to play a game and show you guys what the elite skin for Hank looks like. Uh, it could be changed between now and when the final game comes out because of course this is still just a beta but uh, bear with me guys and I hope you do enjoy it. This is what I've been working on for the last oh, three days, four days is getting the elite skin for Hank and getting the elite skin for Val. I already did a video on the elite skin for Val Let's so uh, here we go. Now, Hank is the tier one or the first tier of support character that you have access to. And uh, kind of basic, but still one of my preferred characters. Every character has their strengths and weaknesses. And uh, we're going to play a quick game of Hunt and uh, show off these new skins. So first off, we have the laser cutter which is black and silver now instead of black and yellow and uh, that's really cool that's your primary damage dealing weapon um, pretty much everybody knows that if you played the game so this is a game of hunt we want to go ahead and track down the monster so I'll be showing off this in game uh, you also have the orbital barrage which is uh, basically like a pair of binoculars and that is normally like a, a dirty yellow kind of color. And uh, now it's black and gold, which is really cool. You also have the shield device, which is also black and gold. And uh, you can use that to shield your teammates. So that's very helpful. Now, these skins don't do anything as far as actual in-game play. They have no effect on weapons damage or anything like that the only effect that they have is simply changing what the appearance of the weapon is however with that being said as you progress and you earn the stars and the first star second star uh, I just found a man-eating plant so that's not very good uh, but as you progress you get different upgrades, uh, extra damage, uh, longer battery life, things like that. At the first star it's only a couple percent, at the second star it's like up to five percent, and at the third star, which is increasingly difficult to get, you actually uh, then go ahead and get almost like a ten percent uh, increase. So, very good. Um, to do and unlock the stars definitely not the easiest thing to do because the requirements to actually get the star are uh, increasingly difficult and of course my teammate there found a man eating plant just like me uh, kill this doom beetle here they do a lot of damage to this if you want them out of the picture not entirely sure where our medic is so, uh, good thing I always use the health regen perk. But since this is about the weapon skins and gameplay with them, um, very much personal preference as to whether or not you want to take the time to unlock each individual uh, tier 3 item because these are insanely difficult some of the later uh, requirements to actually unlock it are very very difficult I'm gonna pick up that buff there got another buff from it uh, the monster is stage two not fun uh, I kind of wish that the skin changed the way the laser from the laser cutter actually looked maybe change the color of it a little bit or something like that, but it doesn't. 
Oh, which is a little disappointing, but uh, maybe I'm just more disappointed by it than I need to be because I've spent so much time doing this. But uh, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and you do the same thing. You get this done. Oh, Armadon. That needs to go. I have to say that uh, the elite weapon skins here on Hank look a lot better than the elite weapon skins for Val. Only because the weapons for Hank are so much uh, larger. They're always in the foreground instead of a very small weapons, you know, uh, like the Trank rifle or something, you know, like the sniper rifle and med gun. Well, the skins look cool on that. They're uh, not as large of a weapon, so it's definitely harder to see the detail on it. Uh, it looks like our trapper was over here by himself. I think he did manage to trap the monster. And of course, we're up against a... Oh, uh, we're up against a Kraken, so I'm gonna just start opening up with the laser cutter. Hopefully the rest of our teammates go ahead and uh, join us here, and we can actually take this guy down pretty quick. Uh, I don't think I can hit him with that orbital barrage. I might get one or two on him. No, he's not very happy with me right now about that orbital barrage. He's kind of ignoring me, so I'm just gonna keep putting the damage on him. Which, support is not necessarily the primary damage dealing class, but because our assault guy isn't really doing a whole lot, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do what I can. I'm going to activate my cloak so he doesn't notice that I'm right on his ass. And I really do like this elite weapon skin. I'm very happy I went with Hank as the uh, support character to unlock the Elite Weapon Skin for. I think it would be very nice if the Elite Weapon Skins also applied not only to your weapon, but uh, to your character. If you could change their outfit or something like that, that would make it definitely, uh, in my opinion, that would make it a lot better than just a skin on the weapon, because some of the weapons you know, you really don't see all that much. Because, um, you know, they're small, like the Trank rifle. Whereas something like uh, Markov's lightning gun or, you know, Hank's laser cutter, things like that, you know, the weapons are so large so they're very noticeable. And that's definitely why I like it. But it's one of those things that can be very hard to uh, do simply because of the fact that, like, for Hank, um, a third tier requirement is you have to shield players uh, and prevent them from being incapped or incapacitated, which means that you have to let them get to very low health and then you uh, shield them and they have to take more damage. They have to take enough damage to what would normally kill them. Oh my god. Get out of here. There's so much stuff on this planet that will uh, kill you. It's pretty insane, actually. Alright, Mega Mouth is gone. Now we just have to find this monster. And of course, when you're cloaked, you can't see your camos, but not a big deal. Cloak doesn't last very long. It is very helpful, though, because the monster will just run right past you, and wildlife will also run right past you. laser cutter a bit to get rid of some of these little beetles and stuff that are around here. I have no clue where this guy went. And the laser cutter kind of has a, well right there you can see it says 100% charge and like as you use it the charge percentage goes down, which is kind of cool. That and that's lit up bright white, whereas the normal camo for it, it kind of blends in and you can't see that little charge reading. So if you're hip firing the weapon, it does make it a lot easier for the, uh, the hip fire, which is kind of nice. 
Uh, it's actually very nice. I landed that, started that support strike right on top of him. I'm pretty much just gonna keep unloading with my laser cutter, but uh, now he keeps targeting our down guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and shield him. I'm actually gonna shield our trapper, because our trapper shouldn't be the one doing the revive. Uh, mainly because the Kraken or whatever monster you're up against is gonna beat the piss out of the trapper until that, that he goes down, especially since we don't have a medic. That was our medic that went down there. And this way, the Kraken can go ahead and get out, and he can go get food and try and regen his armor and just generally get away from us. Which it would definitely be cool if the weapon skins gave a buff to the weapon. Uh, maybe, not maybe, you know, an insane buff, but be an extra percent damage, you know, because what you have to do to actually get elite is quite a bit, so a, a little bit more of a reward than just a weapon camo would be nice, even if it was, uh, like I said, the ability to change your actual character's camo, that would be really cool, and uh, that's increased magazine capacity, which is extremely helpful, like with the laser cutter. I can just sit here and deal so much damage, so if we run into the uh, Kraken again, I'm just going to sit there and unload with this laser cutter. We do have our trapper still, but we don't have a medic, which is uh, very difficult. Oh, there's the Kraken. Come on, get up there, get up there. hate it when the jetpack runs out right when you're trying to make a jump. Hopefully our trapper can get uh, close enough to the crack and then he can deploy that mobile arena again. If he can deploy the mobile arena, we'll be, we'll be pretty set. Because the Kraken had less than half health and we got seven seconds until the dropship comes back in with our medic. Actually, our medic is back in play now, or the, at least the dropship is. So within a few seconds, the medic will be here again and can heal us. I always use the health regen buff or perk. This way I don't really have to worry if the medic is gone. If I take a little bit of damage and I can get away, I can regen my own health. I was trying to keep this video a, uh, a shorter video, so uh, hopefully we can find this cracking soon. 100 meters away. Alright, well, our trapper tracked it. I'm gonna go ahead and cloak. Drop the orbital strike. Which hopefully is gonna land. Yes, it did. It landed right on the Kraken. And then I'm just gonna unload with this laser cutter. Except he's going behind the rock. So since I have that increased magazine capacity buff. I'm just gonna sit here and unload on him. And uh, our trapper's throwing stasis grenades at him, so we're slowing him down. And the medic's starting to put weak points on there, which is perfect for my laser cutter, because the laser cutter is a very accurate weapon. So I can target those weak points. I'm gonna let it recharge just a bit. Almost fully recharge, try and get those headshots hitting the weak point so we got a two times damage multiplier and my orbital strike is almost recharged yet again come on come on recharge 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 and you're out of here Kraken bye bye so this is Mark or not Markov uh, Markov the assault that I uh, was working on but this is Hank and uh, his elite weapon skins and uh, hopefully you know you can get Hank or at least give him a try and you know now you know what the elite weapon skins look like and the mode that I was playing was evacuation so since we won we got this really cool buff for the next round where we have this satellite that periodically fires a laser against the monster which is actually uh, pretty darn cool 
So um, as you can see here, you know, with character mastery, I've gotten all the little emblems and everything unlocked for them, and that's what gave me the elite skins. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos.